What's up everyone, today in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do scrollable lists in Figma, both horizontal and vertical. I was going through some tutorials recently and other channels and realized that a lot of them are outdated and it's showing an old version of Figma, so those ones don't actually work anymore. And in the newer version of Figma, it's actually a lot easier to do scrollable lists. So with that being said, let's hop in the video. All right, so here it is for both the vertical version and the horizontal version up here. I'm gonna create a new Figma file here. We are gonna create a new frame. I'm gonna use a iPhone 15 or 14 or 15 Pro Max here. I'm gonna use a light gray background here. It doesn't exactly matter what color, just because our components are white. Now to make it easier for this, I actually already created all the components in another Figma file here. So we have the top bar and the navigation bar on the bottom, and then also the horizontal list that we're gonna be working with and the vertical one. Now I'm just gonna copy these ones in here, the top bar and our components, put them in our new file. So I will pop these bad boys in here. Now the next step is creating the list of the components we've created. So to create a list of our components, I'm gonna hold Alt, click and drag, and then select both of them here and click Shift A. Now that we've done that, it's gonna make it a lot easier to duplicate them. So we'll click on one of the components and then click Command D. And as you'll see, it's a lot easier to duplicate them here. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing at the top. So I'm going to click on the item, hold Alt, drag it across here, select them both, Shift A. And then when I click on the one, I can do Command D to create duplicates here. So for the sake of the video and to save time, I'm not going to go in and, and change each image, but what you should do when you're creating these lists is make sure that all the images and or image and names are changed for each one. This just makes it look like more of an actual list because you can see each item is different from one another. Okay, so now that we have our list created, the next step is to grab them, is to click drag your entire list and then frame that selection. Okay, so I'm gonna done that with the horizontal, now I'm gonna do that with the vertical, click and frame the selection. And after that, you're gonna to wanna to clip that content and there's just that box on the right here, you'll see, click on the entire frame and then click clip content. I'm gonna do that same thing for the horizontal list here, clip content. Now we can actually place them into our frame. Okay, just for the sake of the tutorial, I'll show you here. So now that we have our items added, the next step is to click on your frame and crop it. So I'm gonna put mine, this crop for the uh, vertical list. I'm gonna crop that to the navigation bar here. Um, and you'll see, so that's when you scroll, you're showing where it's gonna be cropped off that list when you go to scroll through it. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for the top one here. So click on that frame and then crop it all the way to the edge of the screen there. Okay, so next you're gonna click on each item so I clicked on that frame for my horizontal bar. I'm gonna to go to prototype and I'm gonna go with scroll with parent and for, over, and for overflow where it says no scrolling, I'm gonna have this as horizontal. And then, which makes sense, obviously it's for the horizontal scroll. And then for the vertical scroll, I'm gonna do the same thing, scroll with parent and the vertical scroll. Now that we have those added, I'm gonna press play or preview and we have our scrolling list for both horizontal and vertical list. Anyways guys, that is how to create scrollable lists, both horizontal and vertical in the updated Figma. I really hope it helped you guys. If it did, don't be afraid to hit that like button. More importantly, hit the subscribe button and also let me know in the comments section down below what other tutorials you guys would like to see. On that note, I will see you in the next video.